Hey, what's happening everybody? It's Dealer Destro back with another Modern Era G.I. Joe review. And for this video, we are going to be taking a look at the Cobra Industries CEO, codename Cesspool. And this figure couldn't be more appropriately named. <laughs> and I, I mean that. This dude's a scumbag. <laughs> so anyway, that's, so that's what the figure looks like at a 360 degree uh, view. And I'm just going to let this kind of finish its rotation and then bring it to a stop. Um, let's just go ahead and get down to business and talk about the card art. So card art on this looks great. Um, I like when the I like when the club nails it, like when they absolutely nail it. Face looks a bit weird. Um, I'm not. I think his face looked more sinister on the vintage card. But that could be that could be me. But I'm pretty sure that like the, the posture, the pose here is like similar. Um, and then for my fellow Joe heads, there's his full file card. So I'll leave that up there for a quick second so y'all can pause that and get caught up on his backstory. And then as per the usual, the back of the card transitions to a full full close up of the card art that is presented on the front. And again, this is good. This is good. So, setting that off to the side. Let's take a look at his accessories. I'm actually just gonna slide this off frame here and drop the figure, but that's okay. I'm gonna zoom in and hopefully we play nice. Okay, so he comes with a helmet and this is supposed to be like the whole Eco Warriors gimmick. This is a rehashed sci-fi helmet from the 30th run, which was also an awesome figure. But we're not talking about sci-fi, we're talking about cesspool. So, the same exact closed-faced helmet with the orange paint on there. Looks pretty good. He comes with what I can only assume is a compound Z injector, even though this is not painted blue. I don't know. Maybe he just maybe he just chromed out or, or or gold plated the whole thing like like those hardcore cats that that chrome plate their uh, AK 47s in gold or whatever. Um, but yeah, so he comes with that, and that's that's a new access or that's a, a rehashed accessory too. Um, so again, he also comes with the same gun as Repulsor, just a little just with a little bit of compound Z residue on there, and then it's gold. So this thing kind of got the bling status too. Um, not to the extent that, like, the SDCC Destro weapon set did, but, you know, it is what it is. Water gimmick included. However, you do not get the water gimmick with this figure either. And then this also has a hose that plugs into the back here, but because of how that is, like that, I can't get the hose in there. Haven't been able to. And then, whatever. I mean, it's not a problem for me. I really don't care about that stuff. I was really, for this outing, I was really more interested in the figure than anything else, because man. Um, anyway, so he comes with the same backpack. Uh, doesn't get the, the metal finish treatment here, and that's fine. Uh, Compound Z comes loaded, so if you step in his vicinity, um, he will zombify you. That's my takeaway from that. The last thing that he comes with loadout-wise is one of the most sought-after accessories in this line, I think, uh, and it didn't. It, it had started with the pursuit of Cobra Heavy Armored Destro, where he was like the leader. He had the same getup as like the Heavy Grenadiers, the Heavy Iron Grenadiers that they released for that run. And if you, if we can open it up, I don't know how good I'm gonna be because I really don't have long fingernails. Okay, there we go. So I got it open, and that's what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. That is what you get. And that's good. That is a fun accessory, let me tell you. Because, man, they they nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. Briefcase of money, ladies and gentlemen. You know, how appropriate for a grubby, greedy CEO. Especially of Cobra Industries. So, comes with the two-pronged Cobra stand. And I dig it, like it, love it. And then, this is what this guy looks like. And man. So, full disclosure, 
I want to say this this whole figure is a rehash of sci-fi from the 30th run and boy oh boy does he look good man this is a this is a rock solid figure um, I'm just gonna say that out the gate um, no bias no bias at all ladies and gentlemen so let's see how close the camera is gonna let us get before it cops out that's actually pretty impressive so that's his head sculpt and man does that look good the detail on the scar, the, the paint for the white out, whited out eyeball, his eye, his 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 like kind of snarling face, the hair, there's no like overspray anywhere. This is what you want from a club figure. The odds of, of any of the gang watching these videos slim to none, but I'll just say it. This is what I would expect from a club figure every single time. This figure, man. Anyway, so, moving on. Good job. Good job, Joe Club. Um, we got the Tampa Graft uh, Cobra Biohazard sign on. His is, it's on at like a slight angle, but I'll give it a pass because it still looks clean, albeit it's a little bit lopsided. Um, gold, gold paint finish over the vest that's cast in green. They did paint the hose black, which is thoughtful. I like it. I dig it. Um, we got gold trim around like his cuffs and I want to say these, yep, these were cast in purple. So good job. Good job. Um, we got the belt with the gold belt buckle and that's about all we get for that. We got these little weird things that hang off the side of him. Not sure what these are for, but full disclosure, I can definitely see these wearing out over time, even though it's softer plastic. So get those exacto knives ready to carve away at the edges at some point, ladies and gentlemen. Um, legs have these weird uh, pouch things that these tubes hook into, broken up with with a little bit of purple line work there, and I, I think it looks good. Um, again, boots are rehash of the 30th sci-fi. So that's this guy from head to toe. And articulation-wise, pretty good, because, I mean, that was a solid figure that they took the, you know, that they used as the base for this thing. Um... Articulation is unhindered. Elbow joints get you the full 90 degrees. Hand swivel. Hand swivel. And then beautifully articulated. We do got a little bit of gold, over, uh, gold blotching there. So either they assembled this while it was wet or they assembled and then painted, but whatever. Not a big deal because you can scrape that off. And again, if you look at the joint, I got nothing flaking off, which is phenomenal. I mean, again, that's what I would expect. This is exactly, this is how you do a club figure, just like this, just like this. So it does incorporate the double knee joint, which you can, uh, there's enough slack on this, so you don't have any problem bending it. However, because of the sculpt, it flares out, which we're accustomed to seeing. Um, ankle movement, left to right, down, little bit of up, shockingly enough. And same thing on that side. So, yeah. So I like it. I like this guy a lot. So how about, uh, I stop telling you about how much I like him. We cut, I get him geared up, and then I show you what he looks like with his uh, security lackey. Be right back. All right, so there he is. And I guess I'll throw that up there for good measure so you can see the full loadout. Um, so there he is with Repulsor. And I gotta tell you, despite all the many issues with this guy, that looks good. That really looks good. I am taken back to the 90s with all the, the environmental propaganda and cobras dirtying the environment and they're not hugging enough trees and oh my God, they're polluting. So yeah, I like this. I like the way that this looks. Do I recommend him? Do I recommend this this guy right here? This guy right right here? Oh yeah. If you're a fan of the Eco Warriors, you probably already have him. If you're on the fence, I hope this video adds some value for you. Um, I have no idea what his secondary market prices go. Typically, with the with the more better offering for the figure subscription service figures that are individually carded the secondary market price tends to fluctuate. I've seen some figures go up to upwards of 80. 
if it's a rehash of Big Boa, like 130, which is crazy. But I don't know what this guy goes for. Um, I haven't checked. And I should probably start checking that for these videos. Um, but what I can tell you guys is if you don't have this figure in your, in your uh, collection and it's a gaping hole that you've been thinking about filling, you should go fill that. Scour the boards. Um, put in some TNE if if you don't want to you know pay fee bay prices, but yeah this this figure is rock solid. It's definitely worthy of a pickup. Um, like they nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. This fit like I got no flaws on this figure, no QC issues, zero QC issues. This this epitomizes once again what you should expect from a club uh, offering figure. So anyway, so that's my final thoughts on this guy. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Again, if you like what you see, please go ahead and subscribe because there's plenty more videos on the way because we have a lot to talk about. Um, so until next time, hope you guys take care. Catch y'all on the flip side.